Hello, welcome. My name is San. This is a reading today for Capricorn. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Capricorn, I'm doing your reading with a combination of the Tarot and the Oracle of Mystical Moments blended in one stack. So you will see a mix of both in your spread today. I've got the Hermit on the split. And the World card at the bottom of the deck. I want to say this is you, Capricorn. This is your energy. And this hermit is coming up as somebody else's energy. There's a message of things are up in the air. You're both up in the air. Your lives are both up in the air. So things are changing. There's a lot of moving parts at this moment. It feels like it's kind of got this feeling of like going up over the roller coaster. It's like... You know, it's almost that anti-gravity moment where everything is up. Everything is up in the air. Everything is changing all at once. I want to say that you're feeling incredibly confident and focused. It's like, it's like you know that it's going to come back together or be in better arrangement when things land than when you, when the change first began. This energy here though is like, I want to say that they're, it's almost like they're reaching, they're the hermit energy. I want to say that they're kind of reaching out to you, maybe as like an anchor or some security in this time of uncertainty. They're wanting to connect with you. They're feeling isolated and they're reaching out to you. It's like you're going through, you're both going through a big shift. Because of that, perhaps, they're wanting to connect with you. They don't want to go through it alone. You seem to be okay navigating your course on your own, but it's like they want, it's like they either want to join you or because you're both experiencing it, they, they want it to be shared, that kind of a thing. They just want to connect with you. They're reaching out to you, but I feel like you're too busy. Your energy is no, I have to maintain my focus. I'm too busy right now. Not right now. They're kind of saying, yeah, right now it's important. And you're saying, no, not right now. Okay. Overall energy for Capricorn. What? <laughs> this keeps happening. This is called the apocalypse. This keeps happening. The card that comes out of um, the Dream Decoder deck, I'm just like, why do I use this deck? It's so, it seems so destructive and cataclysmic right but that's not what's going on i want to say that that's this energy of everything being up in the air it's like there's a there's an energy moving through your life through both of your lives maybe it's a collective thing that's happening and everything is up in the air because of that let me scan the back of the card so i want to say that it's like this card being the overall energy is talking about it's kind of wanting to bring it in as a collective energy there's a collective energy moving through that has you and, and maybe everybody you know, or you and a specific person really up in the air about things. So let me read the back. I mean, it talks about, well, it talks about the end of the world, right? You got the world card here. Something big is ending for you. New beginning. It says, because brave new beginnings follow. So that's, what, this wants to talk about that. It's a, a an incredibly like final, the end of something and the beginning of something completely new. That's what this apocalypse is talking about. That's why everything is up in the air. Everything is up in the air because it's like everything that was is transforming or shifting or changing into something completely new, right? So everything is up in the air. Okay, so jumping into your reading here, Capricorn, There's something really interesting going on here where I want to say that you're under, maybe you're understanding what's happening in a way that this hermit energy isn't because they're coming through with this King of Pentacles card and you're coming through with this Bloom card. And I want to say this King of Pentacles has been coming up a lot recently with this kind of almost like things are not what they seem or... It's almost like a scaled down version of the truth. It's, it's kind of like not the full picture. There's a fuller picture that I want to say that you are completely understanding because you kind of, you've got all of this, like 
your your intuitive net is is cast wide you're picking up everything and i want to say there's something kind of more subtle or behind the scenes or maybe just out there in the future that you're aware of and they're not they it's funny because they're coming in as the the earth energy and you're not you're coming through as like extremely etheric almost ungrounded because you're ungrounded it's like you're receiving a broader signal you're not limited by the reality of the environment around you you're reaching beyond that so this one is kind of stuck in in the real world in a sense and you're you're penetrating through that and seeing beyond it because there's something here about well it could be this up in the air thing right but I was seeing it like this. It's almost like they want to come with you or they're, they're coming to you with an invitation or a, hey, do you want to do this with me? Or can I come with you where you're going to? But it's almost like it's over the head. There's something about that, but I want to say it's them. It switched the other way. It should, it should, it should go over your head, but it doesn't. You're catching it. You're catching something maybe that they're not aware of. It's like they're coming to you and saying, Capricorn, do you want to partner up on this project? Do you want to share this journey? Let's go together. You know, I have the resources, you show the way, that kind of thing. And there's, but there's something in that that is, I want to say is over their head. It's not over your head. You're catching it. So you have an awareness that they don't. You're seeing something in this that they don't. And it could be like the way it unfolds in the future. Because you have this King of Swords next. It's really emphasizing the sight, right? It's like, you know, you can see clearly. You have a knowing. I want to say that they don't. And because of that knowing, you're, say, you're saying no to them. It's almost like I can see you drawing this sword and, and just giving like a firm no. No, you cannot come or no, that isn't what I'm reaching for. It's not expansive enough. It's almost like they're kind of, it's like they're partway there with these antlers. It's like they're partway there. It's like they're almost moving in the same direction as you, but your, yours is much bigger and broader. It could just be that your sight is farther. You can see farther. And so you're saying no to them is what I want to say. Um, and then because you've got this butterfly garden here, there's something here about what you are focused on with the Ten of Cups is it's interesting. It's like it's bigger and broader and more etheric with this butterfly. It's like it's very delicate and subtle, but at the same time, it's like they're it's almost like if you add their energy into the mix, it kind of anchors you down. It's like you want to be free floating. I'm really noticing here with this, it's like there's there's no roots, there's no connection. It's just completely free, free flowing movement, ability, flexibility, flexibility, the ability to kind of turn on a whim. Their energy is much more grounded. That's what I said. It's like it's very earthy. And even with this, right, it's like everything's up in the air. You are not connected to anything, but they are. They have a connection to something that's maybe kind of um, limiting their ability to move quickly or make decisions quickly, right? It's like, so if you partner up with them, it kind of pulls you, slows your ability to move quickly. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you're, you have a focus. You have, you know where you're going. You also have this kind of, I need to be completely focused on where I'm going without distraction, without considerate. Like I, I don't want to have to consider anybody else. I want to just be completely free and clear to move where I want to go. And this card, I know there are two people in this card, but it's actually coming through as um, the perfect moment, the perfect day. That's what you're focused on. The, and the rainbow, it's almost like it's elusive. You have to, when the rainbow appears, you know, it's like you never know when or where the rainbow is going to appear. And you want to be completely free and ready, unencumbered, unanchored, unconnected, disconnected, and able to go where when the rainbow appears, you can go on a whim, on a dime. You, you're free to go. So, and that's not possible if you have this 
this one connected to you. But what's really interesting is that there is a connection between you because I want to say that even though you may be saying deliberately no to this, can I come with you or do you want to join forces and you're saying no, there's still a part of you that even though you're on your way and you're, you're totally focused on what you want to do and where you want to go, it's like you keep looking back at them because look at these cards. Look at the connection here. And it's like, you're fully aware of that. You're like, if I, if I consider them, if I allow them to join my journey, it slows everything down. But yeah, I want to say that, but you still keep looking at them. It's like, even as you're on your way, you're still kind of peeking over your shoulder at them. Maybe it's just a concern for them. It's almost like, I wish you could come. I wish I could take you with me, but I can't. It's just, it's too much. It's like their, their stuff is too complicated. If you take it on, it slows you down. So we've got the Fool and the Queen Bee card coming up next. I want to say this is kind of representative of your two different journeys. You're both on the move. You're both moving into new energies. Their energy is this fool card and your energy is the queen bee card, which I want to say is the difference between a kind of like an old, I know it's the fool. So it feels new. The fool is usually a new energy, but it's actually tied to this kind of primal reptilian. It's almost like <clears throat> what's interesting is that there's not, what am I trying to say here? They're both guided by intuition. Because this reptilian kind of animal primal instinct is very spontaneous. It can move quickly, right? Like this, it can move quickly. But it's almost like it's using a different part of the brain to process the energy or the information or the navigation. It's like different, completely different navigation systems. It's like this one is an older version. I want to, for some reason, it wants to say they're still very intuitive. They're still very much guided by instinct and intuition, but it's almost like it's an older model. It's an older model. It's an older way of doing it. And what you're doing is it's like, it's more, it's bigger. Like this is the beginning of that journey. And you're moving into a phase that's very advanced. If that makes any sense. And it has to do with, how you make your decisions, where you're pulling your guidance from. Because you, this queen bee card is like, to me, it's, well, it's, it's like, just like what I'm talking about. It's completely disconnected from reality in a sense. So, and that frees you up. It's almost like they're dreaming up their next life or their next chapter, but it's still very much grounded in reality, very grounded in reality, right? Very kind of like the subconscious is feeding their impulses. With you, it's like you are tapped into pure potentiality and pulling stuff from the ethers. This, these bees, it's almost like you're pulling pure potentiality into this into this realm and using that to create or to navigate or to guide your movements. So you need to disconnect from them because if you, if you share the journey, it connects you to reality. You don't want to be connected to an old energy or an old reality. You want to work with completely new, clean energy. It's something like that completely um, uh, like has no association is so new it's unrecognizable. Okay. So anyway, but there's, there is this, you are connected to them. I want to say maybe you're not aware of how much you're carrying their energy with you. And it could be just a concern for them. It's like you want, it's, it's like you're looking back over your shoulder to check on their progress when you know that you have to be completely focused on what you're doing. And every time you check on them, it's kind of cluttering your, it's connecting you back to the, you see what I'm saying? It's like, okay, look at these two cards. 
This is their journey and this is your journey. They don't resemble each other at all. But when you look at them, it's like, it's like it combines the two. Suddenly, both of these cards are overlapped. It's like a foot in both worlds. You're doing, you're, you're doing both at the same time. So it's like you're wanting to have a pure signal, a pure intention, a pure creation that is coming from your own imaginal realm, your own higher self. And every time you look at them, it superimposes the two over top and it becomes a combination of the two. If you want that, that's fine. But I feel like you don't, that's not what you want. And so this judgment card coming next is kind of the guidance coming through saying, Capricorn, you have a strong connection with this one. I don't think that it's as simple as just cutting them out or, or cutting the cord. It's like there is a connection. But if you want to create your perfect moment, your perfect day, exactly the way that you want it to be, it's almost like you have to, your, your signal has to get bigger almost. It's like, it's like they're with, they're kind of with you whether or not you like it. This bird is kind of saying it's kind of like they're, they're with you. They're kind of like a sidekick. Maybe there is no way to disconnect from them. Maybe it's like your child. It's something like that. It's like they're, part of them is always with you. So if you want to ensure that you get to the desired outcome that you want, it's almost like you have to amplify your signal. It's always it's almost coming through as like there could be a ritual, an energy, energy work, some kind of an energy or light process that you could engage in that's going to kind of blast your environment and override the signal of this other because I feel like you can't completely disconnect from them. So if you don't kind of amplify your signal, because here it feels, it feels kind of gentle, smaller. You see what I'm saying? Here it's like saying, amp it up really big Capricorn because if it's not a person, it's like the environment. The environment that you're in is kind of, contaminating your aura in a way that whatever you're focused on, it's getting a little bit of that. You see what I'm saying? It's taking some of it with you. It's becoming part of the creation and you don't want that. So it's talking about like blast it bigger, make it bigger, almost like overdo it, overreach, have an overreach because it's like you're, you have both signals going on and in, in order to override it, your signal has to get magnified like tenfold, which is absolutely something you can do. It's just like a decision that you have to make. Or like I said, it's almost like a ritual that you perform where you're just setting the intention that my signal is overriding any possible circumstance that may present itself in my environment. I am overriding every other influence. And then this, we're ending with the queen of wands here. And it's kind of talking about that. That's kind of opening up a door for you. That's what this card has been talking about recently is kind of a door opening for you. And I want to say that it's, it's like this. It's like, if you've been, it's okay. This is great. It's like, you've been focused on, you know, moving towards your desired outcome in a subtler way. It's saying amp, amp it up bigger, make it bigger, almost overdo it, almost make it ridiculous how big you're doing it. And it's like, it's going to, it's like you were pulling in this much B energy before and then look at here. It's like it swarms in. It's like you're opening the floodgates by doing this, by sending out this big signal. It's like you're opening the floodgates to this it's like there's an energy you're trying to tap into and it's like you tapped into it. You've been tapped into it. It's coming. You're receiving the signal. You're using that energy to guide your steps or to create your dream. But it's talking about like if you really like bulldoze your vibration out there, it's going to blast through the signal and just like open it wide up. And it's like these two bees. This two, these two little bits of information that you had before is going to multiply like tenfold. So you can just override the entire situation. It's kind of like you're in this process of kind of 
tuning into future potential and somebody in the here and now in the real world it keeps trying to get your attention and pull you back and like ground you back into reality, right? And it's like you can't completely disconnect from reality, right? You have to still be in your life. But this is talking about just, you, you see what I'm saying? Overriding it, overriding all of the details of reality and opening up this potential. It's almost like opening a portal and allowing this. It's like, it's like it's moving from just a trickle, like turning on a faucet to like Niagara Falls flow. You're opening up your flow in a big way. And I want to say that this is actually really beneficial for you. If you have somebody who's kind of pulling on you a little bit, this is going to cause you to kind of, you know, blast it wide open because it's not enough. There's too much distraction and you're, it's, it's too, there's, the energies are too, too equal at this point that they're competing. You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's so equal that it's, they're overlapping in very equal measures and you want to blast it out of the park, right? Blast it out of the park. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and create an extended Capricorn. If you're interested in that, the link is in the description. If not, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.